This is the last part of our day fishing the magical rock stretches that we found. took it off of the rock. I was stuck. I don't know if you saw that, but I was shaking and trying to get that weight off. Debating on if I should go up there and try to get it out of there or not. Because I caught so many fish here. I thought maybe it was done, but stuck in the rock, shake it. Fish took it off for me. And a lot of times what you'll see when that happens is if we get this fish in, a lot of times it rips the line off the weight to free it, but then gets hooked. So I'll give up a weight for a big fish any day of the week. This feels like an absolute solid fish. Heavy head shakes. Come on. Oh, it's gonna launch. I came off. Dang it. I couldn't keep it down. Right on that same rock. Crazy how many fish are gravitating right towards it. I mean, it makes total sense, but when you're sitting on there and it's 25, 30 feet in front of the boat for 45 minutes and you're just banging big fish after big fish off of it, it's just crazy. It'd be fun to be down there diving and just see it. So it's weird how some of those fish they want to come blast and then this one here just dog into the bottom and as I say that it wants to come up Enjoy every second because it is not a bite like this every time, not even close. So when the big fish are going off, it's appreciate them because you know it's going to stop at some point. Okay, now you can see here I shifted that boat down a little like I said, but that's that big rock, that pair right there, and I'm just out so I can see the knob here. That spot right there has put a bunch of big fish in the boat tonight. Man, that thing just smoked it on that rock edge. The coontail quits. There's about 20 feet out on some gravel that butts up to a line of rocks. Oh, 
solid spark shad fish. There's patches of grass and then there's thick little clumps of coontail and some cabbage also. Definite line of rocks, total transition line. And those fish are just running it back and forth. You can see it's a little thicker weed there. And there's rocks laying in there right on the head edge that fish was. dead sticking it a lot of times when that jig if you let it just crash straight down and it hits if a fish is suspended or sitting there and it sees it it'll go down there and just throttle it oh it's another big fish oh, oh look at that man I almost screwed that up it's a horrible boat flip look at that big Just demolishing that spark shot. Trashing it. Bones, 12 ounces. That beautiful fish. I feel like that jig was stuck in a rock. Dead solid. Rushing that spark shot. Even with super glue, you go through a lot of baits in a day if those big fish are hitting them hard. So always make sure you have a good supply, glue it, and then make sure you let it dry for a little bit before you make that first cast. Cast just a little bit further than those previous casts. Oh gosh. This bite is absolutely insane. Fish after fish. <laughs> solid, solid fish.
jeepers, I came over that rock again. Absolute magic going down right now. Right in front of the boat. Right on the deepest part of the rocks. Right on the deepest tip. That's the first fish out that deep today. So 40, 50 feet down from the rock that put out all those other fish. This might be the last one of the night before I stop and get stuff put away. If it is, oh man, what an absolute evening of fishing. Every time the hook was set, you almost anticipated a big old fish. That one got him good. But you can see where that fish could have jumped and that hook would have Falling right out of that slot there. What a night out on deep rocks. Spark shads, haze dung shads on drop shots. 360 putting the cast on the spot. Two small areas, pinpoint cast, giant bass in the boat. <laughs> 